Things are heating up and, and the fight to remove two state representatives at the center of a sex scandal. And not everyone is on the same page about how best to handle the crisis involving Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat. Seven Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner just returned from Lansing where a special committee is now looking into this in a process that's making history, Jim. Yeah, and the task is simple for this committee. Are these two fit for office? And the drama on this first day centered on two fronts, this select committee and the two being scrutinized. House Select Committee may subpoena witnesses. The first surprise, not on the committee, but coming in to face the committee and looking shell-shocked. One of the two state reps, still not resigning, still wanting to see the evidence against her. Yes. It's not easy um, trying to understand the process better, um, to understand the allegations that it brought against me better um, so that I can help be part of that solution. Is so. it awkward for you to be here? It's, it's hard. Here is the evidence, binders of hundreds of pages outlining the allegations of misconduct and misuse of taxpayer resources by Gamrat and State Rep Todd Corser to cover up their affair. The internal House investigation concluding they were both outright dishonest when they spoke to investigators. This isn't about politics. It's uh, not supposed to be a celebrity show here. This is about the integrity of the institution. and I take that weight very, very seriously. Three of these six committee members are from Metro Detroit. I would like them to, to at least come forward and answer some of the questions that we have. I think Explain it's themselves. Important. Well, uh, yeah, uh, they've, uh, Todd in particular has uh, taken to social media. State Rep Todd Corser did not go to Lansing today. This is him in Lapeer yesterday. He issued a statement last night saying this was an unfair kangaroo court. But this is a tribunal, not a trial. And this committee member worked as an investigator in the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. Is there anything that Corser and Gamrat could say to get out of this bind? Uh, resign. That would probably be it. The most severe part of this case, if Corser and Gamrat misused state resources and it was blatant, did they commit a crime? That would not necessarily go away with a resignation. These are very serious criminal allegations and to really get to the bottom of this, to really get to the truth, we need a law enforcement agency with subpoena power, with the ability to compel people to tell the truth and compel the disclosure of documents to get involved. And Todd Corser has said he has talked with state police and the FBI, but their continued involvement is not clear. The next section of the session of the committee has not been set. This is actually a recess week for the full house, so the next meeting may be next week after Labor Day. We'll keep you posted. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. We'll be waiting. Thank you, Jim.